Hello, I have recently treated myself, yes, treated myself, that's how I roll, to a portable car tyre inflating device. Been meaning to get one of these for years, pretty much every time I drove the car to the petrol station to check the tyre pressures, and there'd be someone in the space faffing about taking ages, or they'd leave the car there and go and do the shopping at the Mini Mart or whatever, and I'd think, oh, I must get myself a portable tyre inflator thing, and then I'd drive away and completely forget about it. So years after thinking I must get one, I bought one, so I thought I would do a review. There are hordes of these on Amazon, and they are by and large pretty cheap. This one goes for around £25 to £30. The cheapest one I saw that had lots of good reviews was about £15, and I considered that, but it had an analogue dial on it, a very small analogue dial for the pressure, and I thought, well, I'm going to have to really squint to see that, and it's not going to be very accurate, because the whole range of possible pressures were in a very small area, and I thought, if I'm, let's say I've had a puncture on the side of the road, a rainy night in the middle of winter, I'm going to be squinting at that, trying to work out what it is, to no avail. I would rather have uh, a thing that has a digital readout, nice clear digital readout. So for a few pounds more, you can get one with a digital readout. And this is from Ski, or s -key. Who knows how? I think actually it's fairly generic because they look like other ones that look identical with different brand names. So it's one of those products that someone is churning out and lots of different companies then sell. Comes in this rather nice carry bag. As I say, I think I paid about £25 for this. And the unit itself is... If I can get it out of the rather nice carry bag. There we go. Rather space age, science fiction looking spaceship thing. Actually, you, you probably could bolt a few bits on and turn that into a science fiction spaceship. There's the um, air hose, which is actually a little bit short. I'd have liked a little bit longer on that. It was all right. I can do the tyres, but it's just a little bit tall. And it's also um, quite springy. And what I found that was when I put that on the car tyre, the whole thing would fall over. So that was slightly annoying. But anyway, it's plastic, but it doesn't feel tat. You know, it feels sturdy enough for the job. You've got this cable there, I think. Now, I should have checked that. I think it's about three metres of cable, which is enough to then plug that in the cigarette lighter. They're not even called cigarette lighters anymore, are they? But you know what I mean. The cigarette socket, as was, in your car, and then take that out the side to the wheels front and rear. And on the back here, you've got this dial, which is illuminated, lights up nicely when you use it, and then a couple of buttons to set the pressure, and you can set it in bar or PSI, and you can say, this is my target pressure. When you stick that bit onto your tyre, it gives you a readout of what the current tyre pressure is, and then you just switch this switch on, and it chugs away and pumps up the tyre to whatever pressure you want. It seems to slightly overshoot, which is a good thing, because when you take this off, inevitably it goes pshht and lets a little bit of air out. So I think that's possibly why they do it. The only thing I've found is you must remember to um, switch that back off again. It only restarts pumping the air when you turn that switch. So after you've done one, take that off, switch that off again, then take it to the next wheel. I found this to be um, quite a good little unit. I mean, I don't have any calibrated way of checking how accurate it is, but I'm willing to believe that it is fairly accurate. Just from the tyres I've looked at and what their pressures were, I would think it is in the ballpark, certainly, of where they should be. Uh, it's got a little light on the front, a little LED lights. So you can see what you're doing. Um, yeah, there's not really a lot to say. Oh, it comes with some different kind of adapter things, as well as a, what looks like a spare fuse. So presumably this can do air beds and other things you might want to pump up as well. Tiny little user manual, which basically tells you what I've just told you. Stick the end in the cigarette lighter, stick that end on the car tyre and switch the thing on after setting the pressures. It, um, it's not super noisy, you know, makes a pumping sort of noise. It does tend to jiggle itself around. It wiggles itself around as it's going. And as I've said, it does have this tendency to fall over because this is very springy and that little bit too short. So as you're trying to twist it to get the right angle on the car tyre, this goes all over the place. Um, needs some googly eyes. Clearly it needs some googly eyes. But all in all, I just thought I would say I'm quite pleased with it. Um, done pretty much any tyre I can find. And the other problem, of course, when you go to use the one at the garage, is you, you think, oh, I should probably do the spare tyre. Where's the spare? Underneath the back, or it's in 
under the boot and it's going to take you hours to get all that stuff out and there are other people waiting they're all glaring at you so another good reason to get one of your own and this is compact enough i keep it in the camper van and it just slots in one of the little overhead cubby slots over the driver's um driver's um, side so all in all for 25 quid i have no idea obviously how long it'll last but whether the pump will burn out or whatever maybe i'll do an update review if it ever fails on me but so far having used it on the car the camper van the car again because i was filming uh and didn't i use it on something else not sure anyway in the trials i've done so far it has been a good product and it gets a thumbs up of approval so there you go if you want to buy one i'll pop an amazon link in the video description below affiliate link so i get a few pennies if you buy and it doesn't cost any more to you uh, but always appreciated so Thanks for watching. Cheerio.